Yeah, just getting on the bus at midnight there in Brandon. Uh, you try and get a few hours of sleep on the bus and then uh, a couple good meals there. We had a good breakfast in Brooks. Uh, hop off the bus here and have another good meal. Uh, Zach led the guys through an activation, get a little walk through the city. Some guys wanted to see Calgary, so that was good for them. Then uh, just a relaxing afternoon for the guys. Uh, it's been pretty long. I mean, we left at uh, midnight last night and drove through the night, so we had to sleep on the bus. Not the most comfortable experience, but uh, got here, got settled in, and went for a little activation walk and get comfortable and get ready for tomorrow. Oh, really like a tough road trip. It's uh, not easy play here. Alberta team all good, and I never play in BC. And it's my first time. I think it's tough to. What's about Scotiabank Saddle? Yeah, for guys that haven't really experienced playing there, it's a, it's a really good experience playing in the NHL rink. Uh, I mean, you see all the flames, the guys on the wall, the awards given out there on the wall. Uh, you can kind of get caught looking around a little bit at the, the bright lights up there and uh, it's just an exciting place to play for guys. You might have a little nerves your first couple shifts, but just get through your first shift there and then uh, just treat it like any other game. We should play like one team, uh, play hard, play smart games and we, we can win a lot of games in the road trip. It's already feeling electric here in the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. Good evening from Calgary, Alberta. My name's Chase Johnston, and you are listening to Bird and Bertle Mainline, King of Trucks, Brandon Wee Kings Hockey, here on Q Country 91.5. Ryland Rorsma, potential breakaway here for me, and they score! Ryland Rorsma, what a heads up play to get in front of the defender, and the Brandon Wee Kings have an early 1-0 lead with 15-12 to go. Cross ice feed, nobody home. Now they're trying to stuff it in. They score. Carson Bjarnason made the first save. Can't get the second one. And David Adazinski. And the second power play unit has tied this game up at one. Taken over here by Chase on now. Chase on a shot. He scores. Jake Chase on capitalizes on the Calgary Hitman turnover. And the Brandon Wheat Kings have restored the lead. It's two to one. Another cross ice pass. Danielson tipped on, they score! Danielson tic tac toe to the captain, Nolan Ritchie, and the Brandon Wheat Kings have taken a 3 1 lead on the power play. Slaney a shot, tipped on, oh, a toe save made by Bjarnason. Rebound loose, blocked in front. That's going to do it though. Time is running out, and the Brandon Wheat Kings, they're going to be thankful for two big points here in hostile territory. A 3-2 victory over the Calgary Hitmen. Yeah, uh, we, I mean, obviously bus legs, a little bit slow start, but, um, you know, after after three, I thought we, you know, battled hard and, you know, obviously got the win, so it was a good effort. What's it like playing in a building in the saddle? Oh, that's pretty cool. I've got to play in here a couple of times last year, but, um, no, it was, it, it's fun. I mean, it's obviously an NHL rink, so. You know, it's something you dream of to hopefully play here when you when you make it to the pros. 16 shots in one period, the most you've ever like, <laughs> faced in 20 minutes. Uh, take me through that first period. Yeah, uh, obviously it was a little bit of a busy first period, but um, you know, it's just uh, something that I gotta do, stop the puck. So um, make sure I'm in the flow state and you know, keeping loose and just focusing on each shot one at a time. Oh, I mean, I. I think we'll uh, get a good turkey meal in us, uh, get it catered into the saddle dome there. So uh, it's a good Thanksgiving meal for guys and then hop on that bus and uh, try and relax and get, uh, get to PG as quick as we can.